Hey YouTubes, I am the Pod Scientist, and so are you. Today it's a story. It's a story that I heard of this mother with a sick child making the medicine for her kid. She was activating the cannabinoids in her cannabis medicine. Now, if you don't know what decarboxylation is, naturally THC, when it grows in the plant, there's a carboxyl group, makes it an acid. It's sometimes called THCA. Now, if you heat it enough, then that carboxyl group leaves in the form of CO2 and it becomes an activated THC molecule. If you eat that, that will actually have an effect on your body. It is bioavailable, it's been activated. What she did is she, is she turned the oven up too high, cooked it for too long, and did not only decarboxylate it, but there's a second step in this. It becomes not just activated THC, but eventually will turn into CBN. CBN has different medical effects than THC. It's more, I, I would say, more of a sleep-inducing cannabinoid. So if you're making something for insomnia, perhaps CBN is a good solution, but she wasn't. So now she has this whole batch of very high CBN. I guess the one thing, the one thing that I want to get out there is that if you are activating your own cannabis plant for your own medicine, do it at a low temperature. If you have time, maybe like a hundred, a hundred Fahrenheit, do that for a longer amount of time. You won't get as much CBN. Just be aware that you may be over decarboxylating your product. There's a uh, too far and there's a not enough depending on what you're trying to do. And if you have freedom, use it, consume responsibly.